Hello everyone. Welcome to the session of Alpha Bridge Technologies Private Limited. This is Mukesh. In this session, we shall discuss about basic introduction and configuration of Alpha Bridge Jipon OENT. Here I am using AGL 08 AF model. Coming to introduction, the Jipon stands for Gigabit Passive Optical Network and OENT stands for Optical Line Cable. Combinedly called as Jipon OAT. It is the central hub of Jipon networks. It serves as the gateway connecting the multiple subscriber premises to the wider internet infrastructure. It manages and distributes the data downstream to subscribers and receives the data upstream from them. Operates on a passive optical distribution network like optical fibers, splitters, etc. The key component it delivers is high speed broadband services like internet over optical fibers. Coming to configuration, we shall see how to log in using console, telnet and SSH and also some basic configurations like VLAN creation, IP address assigning and defining the type of the ports like access mode or trunk mode or hybrid tagged or hybrid untagged. First, let's see the physical features of the OLT. There are two types of console ports. One is RJ45 and another is Type-C. One reset button, one USB port, one management port, four 1G Ethernet uplink interfaces and four 1G slash 10G uplink SFP interfaces. And then eight one ports. First, let's log in using console. Connect console cable to the OLT and one Ethernet cable from PC to the management port of the OLT. Open PuTTY, select Serial, enter the COM port number. To know the COM port number, open Device Manager. Click on OK and then check for the ports. Here you can find the COM port number. My COM port number is 9. Enter, enter the number and then change the speed to 115200. Click on Open. Enter the credentials for username and password. By default, both are admin and admin. Enter enable command to enable the OLT. And then enter the command system view to enter into the configuration mode. To login using telnet and SSH, we need to enable them. For telnet, by default it is enabled. For SSH, enter the command SSH server. And then SSH server key create all these keys DSS, ECDSA and RSA Now we can open through SSH also Now let's open using telnet Click on other The default IP address of the OAT is 192.168.168.1 So enter this IP address And also we need to assign the same range of IP address in our adapter So open control panel Click on the adapter which you are using right now and then click on the properties here click on the IPv4 and then assign the IP address here I already assigned the IP address as 192.168.168.11 and given the subnet click on OK close now click on open view Enter the credentials for username and password as they are admin and admin. This is used by opening telnet. Now let's open using SSH. Click on SSH. Enter the IP address of the OLT that is 192.168.168.1 and then click on open. Here connect once. Now enter the credentials for username and password. 
enable and system view to enter into the configuration mode this is using by ssh now let's do some basic configurations like uh, vlan creation ip address assigning and the port modes for configuration i am using console so enter the credentials and go to the configuration mode now let's create a vlan for that command is vlan and the number which you want to create So here my VLAN is created successfully as VLAN 200. Now let's assign IP address to that VLAN 200. For that command is interface VLAN interface 200. Now we are in the interface of 200 VLAN. Give the command IP address. Enter the IP address. Here I am assigning 172.168.168.1. And the subnet is 255.255.255.0. Here, the IP address is assigned successfully to my VLAN 200. Now, let's configure the port modes. For that, go on any interface. Interface Ethernet 0x0x1. By by and then enter the command port mode. Let's do this port as access mode. For that, port mode access. And then port default vlan allow 200 as we created 200 vlan now let's do it for trunk mode for that interface ethernet 0 by 0 by 2 enter the command port mode trunk now here also port trunk allowed vlan 200 then quit. Let's do it for hybrid mode. Now enter the command port mode hybrid. And we can define whether it is tagged or untagged. Enter the command port hybrid tagged VLAN. For untagged VLAN also, we can give the command here itself port hybrid untagged VLAN. Now quit. For saving the configuration, enter the command end and then enter the command save current config. So the configuration has been saved. For checking the configuration what we have done up to now, command is display current configuration. So here you can see all the configuration which we have done previously, our VLAN 200 and the IP address which we have given to VLAN 200 and the port modes for port 1 and port 2 and port 3, access mode, trunk mode and hybrid mode. This is all about the introduction and basic configuration of Nippon OLT. Thank you for watching.